Hello folks, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So patch 2.2 .2 recently dropped, bringing with it some new content such as launchable fighters, pastor missions, and of course the next steps in our search for mysterious aliens. But unfortunately, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. If you were to fly back to Sothis to check on the popular poop delivery missions, you would find that they've all but dried up. This, combined to the large nerf in trading missions in general, means that many commanders need to look for new ways to make money. The most obvious choice to turn to is passenger missions. Once you build up enough reputation with a certain faction, you can get some decent payouts just through ferrying groups between stations. Overall, this feature has been pretty well received, except for a few minor annoyances, ranging in severity from missing waypoints to passengers ordering to be taken to a different, more annoyingly located drop-off point. There's actually been a lot of noise about this on the forums. There's been people suggesting that passengers shouldn't have the authority to change a destination without the player knowing, or at least giving the player a choice to decline that anyway, because usually the extra rewards aren't worth the amount of effort to go to that new destination. For instance, I can just imagine the frustration on somebody's face when they get a contract to go to Sagittarius A for like 34 or 35 million, and then one jump away being redirected to, oh, I don't know, Beagle Point. <laughs> Luckily though, a solution to this seems to have been found and posted on the main EB Reddit. I forget the name of whoever posted it just off the top of my head, however I will put a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. And apparently, if you don't open up the chat window, after a location change is requested, it doesn't actually go into effect and you just keep going on the mission as normal. I don't know how foolproof it is, or even if, even if it's meant to be a bug, but at least it's something which you can use to cope until FDEV actually comes out with a statement on the matter. Another method for making money is stacking skimmer masker missions. Here, at Cochrane Hub, you can get upwards of 5 million for just about 20 minutes of work, since the mission objectives are all found on the same planet. There was a pretty good guide on exactly how to farm these missions, link in the description. However, the TLDR of it is only to take missions which send you either Kent or Noble's Inheritance, since they have lower, lower security ratings. The only problem with this, though, is that this method of farming is really susceptible to burnout if there happens to be a large influx of player activity, so be advised about that. In any case, this is what I'll be doing to grind for my Python. Well, that's about it for me. If you have any other good places to get credits in 2.2, feel free to share them in the comments. For my sake, for your sake, for everybody's sake. Feel free to press the like button if you enjoyed this, and please consider subscribing if you want more in the future. As always, keep your wits about you, and I'll see you in the black.